Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I have a Hallmark's candle haul to share with you. Um, so just another disclaimer, because I feel like I say it in every candle haul that I do, but I only buy candles when they're on sale. Um, it doesn't have to be like the newest and the best and the one that just came out, that's not me because I never really warm them right away to be able to give a review. So I wait for sales. Um, what else? If I have rewards that I can like cash in and use, if it's free shipping, it definitely has to be on sale. I won't just go ahead and buy a candle if it's just free shipping. I don't ever wanna pay full price. That goes for any candle company. Um, and then, if there's like a referral, which um, Melanie over at Mr. Kong's mom, she has a re like you can use her like coupon code for 15% off, even when the candles are on sale. So I've been looking at the site. I always look at Hallmarks on and off. Um, I look on QVC. Um, I get way more hits than misses with Hallmarks, which I know that's not the case for everybody. And I, I get it. Have I had misses with Hallmarks? Yeah, of course I have. But, I mean, I've had misses. I finally ordered from Kringle. I know this is a Hallmarks candle, but I just want to just say this. I ordered from Kringle, and I got a three-wick mango lemonade candle, and it smells like mango on cold. I light that up. I can't smell anything. It smells like paraffin to me. Now, I burned it three times already for three hours each time um with my eight with my ac off because we shut our air off from 3 p.m to 6 p.m um i burned it with my air on so you know not everything works for everybody that's why there's so many different candle companies i'm not giving up on kringle because i purchased three other candles when i made that mango um candle purchase and they're more fall. It's like a blackberry and the like cider donut one. So I'm not giving up. I mean, I want to give it definitely a fair shot and stuff like that. I'm just saying in my house, Hallmarks works. Um, and I'm always very honest when I talk about an empty candle, if it, if I could smell it, if it traveled, this, where my candle is right now, here on my island in my kitchen, is the only place that I burn candles, or on my glass stove top. That is it. I don't put them in living rooms, bedrooms, bathrooms. I just don't. I have a dog. Um, I'm forgetful. This way it's like right in sight, and I only light up a candle when I know I'm going to be in the vicinity of where that candle is burning. That way... I know if I can smell it and if I'm going out, I can blow it out and everything works well. I'm just going to grab, we have a little candle pair card, which I don't remember ever really getting until the last time I ordered from Hallmarks, but um, Hallmarks does include like what to do, you know, keep them far away and where I, this candle is, this, I don't have any vents right here. Um, burn the candle for two to four hours. I usually do four hours. Have there been times that it's been under four? Yep, three. But I know if I can't like dedicate that time to burning one, I don't even light it. Like I'm not gonna light it for 45 minutes. Um, and the other thing is I used to like really never burn candles in the summer because I thought like, oh my God, it's already so damn hot where I live currently. Why am I burning a candle? But I do really like them at night or like first thing in the morning. Like my house is nice and cold. We keep it at, my husband says, moored temperatures. I just, I can't stand to be hot. So there's that. Um, it tells you to use the lid of the candle to extinguish, which I've never done before. And I just recently started doing and I still feel, I feel weird about it. I like to blow them out and like see that they've actually extinguished. But I'm going to follow, you know, I've been following... Um, and it says once a candle extinguishes on its own, do not relight. So these candles are big enough. This is one that I've had for, I think the last time, um, it's berry trifle. You guys, my house smells so fruity, delicious. 
It's like blackberry, strawberry, blueberry, maybe even raspberry in there. And it's been going for about 45 minutes. Excuse me. It smells so good. So, so far so good with berry cherry coke. Okay, now that I've gone on and on for over five minutes, let's get into what I actually purchased. So these candles were either $16.99 or $18.99. Some were $16.99, some were $18.99. I don't think any of them were $20. Um, like I said, I used the 15% off from Mr. Consum, and I feel like I got free shipping somehow. I don't know. But anyway, the first one that I have is strawberry birthday cake. The scent notes are fresh crushed strawberries, caramel cream, berry buttercream frosting, fresh baked vanilla cake. Yeah, you get strawberry, you get the cake, but you definitely get, I get caramel on cold. You get that like really sugary sweetness. Um, maybe that's combined with the buttercream. I don't know, but it does smell good and it's very pretty. <laughs> that like wrap around, really, really pretty. I love strawberry in June. Um, yeah, I just like really like crave it. I don't, we don't have any birthdays in my, like my immediate family in June, but like I have a niece who is in June, my brother is in June, my nephew is in June, uh, my grandfather was a June. So um, I definitely will be lighting this bad boy up at some point this month and continuing to burn it um, throughout the summer. Usually when I start a candle, it doesn't go back into the closet. I like to finish them unless it's a fall candle where, you know, it starts to get warm here or whatever, or fall, winter, and it starts to get warm. And it's just not something that I'm craving, but that's, that rarely happens. Usually once I start burning a candle, I might not burn it, every week, but I don't like put it back upstairs away. So anyway, strawberry birthday cake, I have never had that really excited to give that one a go. Um, the next one is farm stand blueberry. I've heard really good things about this. Um, orchard blueberries, blackberries, cassis, almond sugar, and vanilla bean. And like I said, these have been sitting here. I got this I think sometime last week. Oh, this is a really nice blueberry. They already smell different. Um, I took out the packaging. I never trim the wicks when I first start burning a candle. Um, this is really nice. A good, good blueberry. I've heard really good things about this. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, blueberries. Again, I think more like August, which I mean, I guess depending on where you live, when blueberry like picking season is, I think it like varies from like May to September or something. But um, again, just like really pretty. Smelling this now, I wouldn't expect this to be like a boomer. Just kind of like a nice kind of in the background. Maybe I would burn this when I was like warming some, like a cookie, like heavy bakery type of wax. That smells really good. So happy to have picked that one up. Then this one was, this is probably the cheapest one I feel like. And let me just say, there's still lots of candles on sale on the Hallmarks site. I feel like more than I've seen in years past and stuff. Um, which I don't know, maybe people aren't buying them. I, I, I don't know. I like them. Like I said, they do well for me. I'm going to continue to buy them until, you know, they don't work for me. So this is Be Mine from like Valentine's Day, which I don't care. And it has the little conversation hearts. It's raspberry jam, warm shortbread, old-fashioned lemonade, and vanilla bean. Again, like perfect for the summer. Oh, this is good too. Sugary, sweet. I'm going to take those little. Yeah, and you definitely get shortbread. Oh, I'm surprised I can smell that. The raspberry. Very sweet, sweet raspberry jam. Um, could be from the old-fashioned lemonade. 
Mm, again, smells delicious. Like perfect once again for the summer. And I'm home in the summer. Um, so oh, I didn't show you, but did I show you it was pink? And then that is really pretty. And all of the Homeworks candles come like super, super um, packaged. Like in the crates, plus in a box, but inside another ginormous box because this um, order, which isn't very large, came in two huge boxes. My husband was like, what the hell <laughs> did you order? It really isn't that much. It's one, two, three, six candles. So packaged really, really well. I've never had an issue with anything coming broken um, from Homeworks. Oh my God, super excited about this one. This is coconut cake. I want to say Jessica D talked about this. I feel like if I'm wrong, um, I feel like she really liked this. This is one that I've looked at on and off like for a long time. Um, but I thought like how strong could this be? This is truly magnificent. So the scent notes for this are toasted coconut, coconut milk, whipped cream, buttercream frosting, baked cake, and pecan, pecan. And this smells like a cake that my mom has made. Um, we could always pick the cake that we wanted her to make growing up. And I feel like this is a cake that she made like for my brother. And she used to do like this German chocolate cake with like a chocolate frosting with coconut flakes in it. Not that this has any chocolate, Oh, but this smells so good. And this is like seriously strong on cold. I'm hoping that it does the same on warm. I always keep the little case, you know, like the wick protectors on until I'm ready to um, get them burning. So very, very happy with coconut cake. That really smells good. But the one that I'm most excited about is kitchen herbs yes i should have picked up more of these um this is wild mint leaves fresh thyme sage leaf and bay laurel oh my god this is so good this picture could not be more accurate um i had talked about in my empties i think it was called kitchen herb or herb kitchen or something from Walmart that um, Marcy had recommended. She had talked about it on her channel and I went out and bought a few. It's a scent that I, that's how I want my kitchen to smell. Like fresh herbs, herbs on your windowsill, like growing and you just get that delicious, like, oh, it's so good. And again, oh, see, this wick is a little bent. We might have a problem with this. That one's a little, I just had to pick it up but oh my gosh this one yeah very happy and like I said this is my favorite as far as like something that I was like looking for um I'm like perfect in the summer perfect anytime so if this one's still on sale I think I have some like rewards to use oh I would I'm gonna burn this within like this upcoming week. If this smells as good burning as it does on cold, I need to get more of these. This would also be like a fantastic gift for my other herb loving friends. That is amazing. Amazing. Okay, and then lastly, I don't know if it was, if you, I feel like it was if you spent $60 or something, you got a free candle. And there were like three or four choices. So this is a three wick that I picked and it is in Chelsea Green Ivy. Pretty green wax. And the scent notes on this one are fresh fig, crisp mint, vinca vines, and jade moss. You get the fig, mossy notes, mint, like all the things. I don't know that vinca vines have a 
have a scent. I, if I'm thinking of the right thing, they're pretty, um, like a hearty vine. I don't think that they're scented though. I believe that, I know there's like different variations of them, but I feel like they, sometimes like a periwinkle, like colored flower grows on them. And I don't think they require much. Like they're pretty, like I said, substantial and hardy. Um, so I don't know if like that's what they like look like, but I don't know that they're scented. So you do, like I said, you got fresh fig, crisp mint, and that like moss. Oh, this is really pretty. So this was a freebie um, when I ordered. So very happy to have that really pretty um, wrap around. Just like great for like in my kit. Well, I mean, that's the only place I don't know what's on there. Um, like it's a great kitchen scent. But like I said before, that's the only place I warm, burn my candles. Um, yeah, so that is, that's everything. So all, all new to me scents from Hallmarks. Oh, got something on my table. Super excited about this. That, and this, and this one. And obviously the blueberry, the strawberry, and then that one with raspberry. I mean, excited about all of them. That's why I bought them. So that's it. Um, I don't need any more candles. I did not participate in the SA House sale at Bath and Body Works. Um, I used the money that I had put aside for SAS to uh, buy some vendor wax from a restock yesterday. And I'm happy that I did. Um, but... I should be good. I shouldn't need to buy anything need. I am not planning on buying anything um, until like late fall. I really, I just don't need anything. Um, I don't want to be like not having a place to put stuff. And then looking like a hoarder with things just like stacked. Like I don't like that. So I think I'm good. Super happy with this Hallmarks order. Let me know, have you ordered recently from Hallmarks? Do you have a favorite? Um, they had like an orange creamsicle, like some peach ones. Um, definitely there were others that I could have purchased, but um, these were ones I kind of been eyeing for a while and was just really looking forward to giving them a try. But like I said, Kitchen Herb, that's the one that I'm most excited about. Kitchen Herbs, yes. So let me know what you guys have been burning what's throwing well for you in your home. And um, yeah, I would love to see what you have to say. So that's it. Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend, staying safe, taking care, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.